Look at all the green. Wow, that looks great. Why is Zoom stock down? They don't have the platform defensibility. It's a great linear product. But Zoom has not been able to capitalize on a network effect to really have some kind of two-sided supply demand dynamic that gives them a walled garden. Zoom is down. You know, we've talked about how why Zoom is not a platform company, why Zoom is not in plat. And again, just like everyone thought Netflix was a platform, Zoom is not a platform. Netflix is not a platform. And here's Zoom stock. Boom. Down 20% in the past month. But you look at Zoom's earnings, which they just came out with. Look at all the green. Wow, that looks great. Why is Zoom stock down? Because Zoom's growth is stalling. And that's really what these, you know, these companies trade on. That's what these investors look at so intently is can they keep up the growth? And uh, Zoom cannot. Fourth quarter revenue growth will be around 31% for Zoom. For the full year's revenue will be about 51%. Ultimately, Zoom is, a, is facing a lot of what? Competition from Google, Microsoft, and Teams, and a myriad of other of video streaming competitors, where this is really just a having a good seamless video streaming piece of technology. It's a great linear product, but Zoom has not been able to capitalize on a network effect to really have some kind of two-sided supply demand dynamic that gives them a walled garden against these large tech monopolies that can go and building a really good video uh, conference tool. And that really is the big reason why uh, I think you're seeing this Zoom temper expectations on their growth projections is really because this ever increasing field of competitors, as opposed to, yeah, the market for video streaming, you know, is saturated by no means. Why can they not keep out the competitors? Because they don't have the platform defensibility, uh, which the tech monopolies enjoy. We've seen that play out with Netflix, where, where Netflix is still a strong company. But Netflix cannot keep up the level of growth that is expected by these ultra high growth tech oriented investors that look at platform growth to just sustain itself almost just forever. And that expectation now transfers over to these linear tech companies and they're just not able to deliver on it. Right. So you see it in the beginning, maybe, you know, first few years like Netflix, but then eventually it's it's going to become difficult for them to sustain that because the competition catches up because you don't have the defensibility that these platforms have when you have what a winner take all dynamic. Hi, I'm Alex. Thanks for watching the show. Make sure to hit that subscribe button, but even better, make sure to follow us on Odyssey, follow us on Rumble and text us 203-646-5159. Text the word Monopoly. You'll be subscribed. You'll get updates about when we're going live our latest videos, and we'll send you even a little goodie bag. And in the event that we all get banned from big tech, we'll still be connected.